But first, seat belts save lives, but some people think they can do without them, and a bill in Annapolis aims to fix that. WJZ is live along the JFX. Political reporter Pat Warren tells us who would be affected. Pat? Well, Denise, as you should know, currently the law says that a passenger riding in the back seat can be ticketed for not having a seat belt only if the driver of the car has been pulled over for another violation. This law would change that. Think you're safer riding in the back seat? Captain Thomas Dydon's son was sitting between two friends. My 15 year old son, Ryan Thomas Dydon, died in a rear seat belt collision when he wasn't wearing the, his seat belt in the back seat. This MVA crash simulation shows what can happen to you in a wreck when you're not wearing a seat belt. But it doesn't tell the story of back seat riders. The woman not wearing a seat belt goes flying. There's an effort to lower the risk by upping the penalty for back seat riders who don't buckle up. Most most people really don't think about the necessity for a seat belt in the back seat. Well, that's a good point. I mean, many people think that it's safe to ride in the back seat without being buckled up, but they don't realize that in the event of an accident that they could become a projectile. You become that bullet in the back seat. You fly around like my son did, clashing heads, clashing into people, causing injuries and death. Everybody will be required to buckle up in every seat on every trip. And supporters say save hundreds of lives. The new law would make it a primary, not a secondary offense, which means the police could pull drivers over because their passenger isn't wearing a seatbelt, and the ticket would go to that back seat passenger. I'm Pat Warren reporting live. Now back to you. All right. Thank you, Pat. Now, AAA Mid Atlantic supports the bill.